radio is my first love. I've been involved in television and other forms of media throughout my life, but something about radio, and I'm a creature of the spoken word, and uh, I, I enjoy it very much. I enjoy the interaction with the students, and we have it's a very, almost a family-like setting here, a lot of uh, camaraderie, and people enjoy each other. Okay, when you say radio station, uh, technically what we're talking really about the studio. The station is the same as far as the frequency and the power and so forth. But we moved our main on-air studio into the facility that we're in now. And the, the most obvious change is the surroundings, the environment here. As you notice, there's a window here. We have a lot of natural light coming in. And one may wonder why is that necessary for a radio station. But um, we long suffered from the fact that many people did not know that we existed right here on campus, although we're, we have a great deal of exposure in the, the greater Willimantic community. But now we have much more visibility being in one of the main thoroughfares. Technically, we have a whole new digital system. The audio board is not analog like the predecessor. It's an all new programmable digital board, which means that each assignment, each fader can be assigned an ind individual function. For example, if uh, someone is doing a sports show and they need five microphones because they have five guests, they can program the sliders to reflect that a particular need. And it can be saved in a session file, so each announcer that comes on the air can have his session saved in memory and just hit a button and call up the board and have it customized to their own particular needs. We know how much media affects our lives in so many different areas, and I think having the opportunity to sit behind the microphone and actually understand the fact that what they are saying could ultimately affect the lives of, not to be too dramatic here, but of hundreds and maybe thousands of people that may be listening. And the takeaway from that is I think a student that has this opportunity will be a much more savvy media consumer, having been as a media provider at one point and knowing that uh, what they hear on the radio or television or reading the paper is not necessarily gospel. It's just one person's opinion most of the time. Oh, no, yeah, I, I want to put a Jewish spin on it. I'm not going to lie. That's the only kind of spin that I would expect out of you. <laughs> Wednesday, April 15th. It's beautiful we outside. get somewhere 30, 40, 50 CDs in here every week. And our music directors contact music uh, distributors and, and so forth, and they give feedback. And they establish relationships with music distributors and record labels and so forth and ultimately uh, find career paths in that area. Some obviously are on the air and, and they want to pursue that line of work at some point. We have people that are managers and it's all resume building material. When you're in college, beyond the academic component, how you can fill your resume with experiential learning is important and this gives a student an opportunity to actually get practical experience dealing with the Federal Communications Commission, programming, supervising other students and so forth. It runs the, the whole gamut of opportunities. That we stream online and we'll have video on shortly and so forth, but the number of people that tune in, if you will, uh, around the country, just phenomenal. When you look and you get calls and or instant messaging from somebody in California or in Australia saying they picked you up and they're enjoying the programming, it's really satisfying.